All right, guys, welcome back. In this video, we are actually gonna start building this home page, just like the one you see in here. So let's go to our Visual Studio Code and inside of our index.hps, the first thing I'm gonna do is just create a div with a class of container, okay? Then I'm gonna create a nav element in here with an image, okay? And this image, if you guys look in here at the side on, on the screen, I actually added the folder before this video called images inside of my public directory. And inside of these images, I just have my profile picture that I will be using for these. You guys can use yours. So I'm gonna go in here and put uh, images and then the name of my image, which is profile dash peak dot jpeg and on my alt i'm just going to put a profile picture okay i got all of these and then i also want to add a div with a class of user details i will add something in in a second then i'm going to add another div with a class of for example home then I'm gonna add another div with a class of projects. And then I'm gonna add a div with a class of contact. Okay, this is gonna be for the contact page. Contact, okay. Uh, before we start adding anything else in here, I want to import two things. The first one, let me go in here at the top, is the, um, let me just do this again. I want to import uh, the Google Fonts Roboto. So I'm going to put in here Google Fonts. Okay. And if I go to Google Fonts, I want to import the Roboto font. These fonts are all free from Google. Okay. So feel free to choose any that you would like. I'm going to select this one called Roboto. I'm going to select it in here at the top where it says select this font. I'm going to open this. And uh, I'm not sure if you guys can see this, but it should be fine. I'm just gonna, um, let's see if I can move this somewhere in here, because I'm not sure if you guys can see with my uh, image in there. Down here, I can import this. Let me just customize it a bit. I want to use the 400 and 700. To import it, I just need to copy this. I need to paste it in here at the top, okay? So now I should be able to use it. And then what else do I need? I just need to import it in my CSS using this. So I'm gonna put this in my style in here, okay? I want my font family to be Roboto or Sans Serif. Uh, now this is the first thing that I want to import. Another thing that I want to import it is Ion icons. I'm going to use some icons, okay? Called they are used like fonts. So you can give them colors, you can give them font sizes. The first thing that this needs to be installed is a script. So I'm going to go to here on the bottom of my body. I'm going to put this script. And um, the other thing that I need to put is in here at the top. Where is it? Down here, I need to copy this link copy this and just go in here at the top just after my google fonts i'm gonna put this one if you guys don't know exactly what's these ion icons you can just go on google and put ion icons okay look it's, it's the first one to go to that page you just go in here to usage okay and this is how you can uh, grab all the information just like i showed you now one more thing that we need is when we run our uh, server, our server is actually with Nodemon is actually looking for any changes that we do on the JS files, but it's not actually doing anything when we change something on the index.hps, for example. So let's go in here to our package.json, where we have this script that we added before for the npm start. I want to do nodemon source app.js 
dash e for extension and then what extensions I want to watch. I want to watch the JS and the HBS. Okay, so now this should be all good. Let's save this. I'm going to start doing an npm start to see how our website is coming along. So in here, I'm just going to refresh and look at the moment there is nothing in here at the top, even our profile picture, it's not working. So let's go to our index.hps. Let's go down here. Uh, ah, look in here. I imported the wrong image. It should be Telmo pic.jpg. Let's go in here. Let's refresh. And now my picture is there. Cool. So let's start adding some CSS in here at the top in here where I have this background color blue. I want to add a different color. So I'm going to add this one. Okay. It's kind of a darker blue. So we got this one. Then I'm actually going to start putting some styles on my nav or maybe on my container first. I'm going to go on my container. I'm going to have a width of um, 1170 pixels. I want to put a margin to be zero auto. Okay, so this is going to be centered on the page. Now I can actually start adding something in here to my nav. So I'm going to start with a display of flex. Okay, display of flex, I'm going to put justify content uh, flex start. I'm going to put a flex wrap to be wrap to go to the next line if it's more than 100%. I want the height of my nav to be um, maybe 50 pixels. No, 150 pixels. I want the color of the text inside of my nav to be white. And that should be it for our nav. Up here on my container, let me just do instead of width, I'm going to put a max width. Okay, so my, uh, let me just cancel, what's wrong in here? Um, I just want the container to expand, but have a maximum width of 117 pixels. Let's see how this is looking so far. So far, it looking, it's looking okay. Let's put this image a little bit smaller. So for that, did I pass in here some kind of, uh, I'm going to put class of user pick, for example. Now I can actually target in here with user pick. Now this image is going to have a height of 100% of the parent. Which one is the parent is the nav. So it will have a height of 100 pixels, 150 pixels. I want the width to be how much? 100%. Okay. So we are not 100%. I want the width to be auto. So if I have the height 150 pixels, I want the width to be automatic. So the image doesn't get distorted. All right. So we got this one. Now um, let's go into our user details in here at the moment. We don't have nothing, but let's pass it. a uh, Telmo is going to be my first name. Then I'm going to put some Pio for my last name. And then I'm going to put my job role software engineer. Okay. Let's save this. Let's go in here to my user details. I think it's like this that I put. Yeah. So this is fine. Let's add some um, styling in here too. So the first thing I will do is add a background color. Okay. Background color to be this one kind of a lighter blue blue. Then I'm going to put a display of flex. Then I'm going to put a justify content, maybe center. Okay, so I'm going to put center and then I'm going to put a flex uh, direction to be column. I'm going to put a flex wrap to be wrap as well. I'm going to put a padding, a padding 
of 0 pixels top and bottom and uh, maybe 15 pixels left and right and finally I'm gonna add a flex grow of 2 okay let's see how this is looking like so far much better much better um, am I missing something I think on my nav this should be fine user details maybe I can add some color in here too uh, let me just see if I go in here and I refresh I can actually see why this is not getting white because if we go back to our index.hps I can see that I finish my nav in the wrong place okay I want my nav to have all of these things inside okay now this should be different if I refresh look this is exactly what I wanted so I got this one, we got the styles for these user details, we got styles for this image class. Now I actually want to do something else for this home and for these projects and the contact. It should be very easy and straightforward. So let's get started with this home. So this home, I want to pass in here uh, an icon, okay? So if I go in here to ion icons, I'm going to look for icons and I'm going to look for an icon for school. Okay, and this is the one I want. If I click on it, this should copy to your clipboard automatically. So I can just go in here, paste this in. Okay, see how does this look like? And look, I got in here at the top a small icon in there. I'm going to do some styling in there for a second. But for now, I can just go in here to... CSS and do a home, okay? And what do I want to put in this home? I want to put a different background color. So I'm actually gonna do this background color. Just like this, background color and this stuff in here. Uh, I also want to, I'm gonna put in here home, okay? Because I'm gonna target home. I'm gonna target my projects. Okay, my projects and also my contacts, all of them, they will have the same styling that I want to do in here. So what's going to be the style? I'm going to put a color to be white on all of them. I want the display to be flex. I want the justified content to be a uh, center, I guess. And I'm also going to put the align items to be centered. So they are vertically aligned with align items center. And with justify content center, everything is nicely aligned in the center as well. Uh, what else can we add in here? I'm just going to put a flex grow of one. So this, all of these elements, they will be with the same exact uh, size inside. So I'm going to refresh and look at the moment. I only have this one inside. Okay. I only have this one inside. Now I'm going to do exactly the same for the other ones. I got in here these projects. So what could we put in here? I'm going to look into the ion icons. Where is it? I'm just going to put a uh, uh, work, for example, uh, maybe not work, maybe projects, projects. Uh, nothing is coming up. Maybe just folder. Okay, let's look for folder. Ah, there is this one. I like this. Maybe this one. Okay, I'm going to click in here. I'm going to copy this code. And if I put it down here, this should be fine. Now, this for the contact, I could put something like a mail. Let's look for mail. Okay, maybe this one. I'm going to copy this. Go into my code put it in here and let me go back let me refresh and look I got the folder in here I got this one in here so this is all good okay I'm gonna start with this one um, from the home page start maybe putting some styling so let's go back in there let's go to the style.css let me scroll down a bit so I'm gonna do that my home Iron icon, okay. This is the element that we have inside, iron icon, to have a font size of what? Let me see, maybe 100 pixels. So I'm gonna do font 
size to be 100 pixels. And I'm going to put exactly the same thing for the projects. Okay. Iron icon. And I'm also going to do for the contact of iron icon. Okay. Let's see how does it look so far. Oh, it looks much better now. This looks much better. So I got this one, this one, this one. Now maybe I can even change the color if I need to. Maybe not. I think uh, we had from before all the icons with the same color. But what we can start doing is actually give some color to my projects. So my projects is going to have a background color of maybe this one. Okay. And I want my contact to have a background color of maybe this one in here. Let me see. Uh, it should be fine. Let's refresh the page and is looking much, much better. Okay. I think we are just missing to do some kind of styling in here in this H1 and this in this pen. So let me just go back in here. So where, we, where is this H1? Inside of my user details. So let's go to style.css. I'm going to go in here inside of user details, user details h1 to have a margin of zero and to have a font size of 28 pixels, for example. Okay. Let me see how does it look like. Yeah, much better. Now we can just do something with this um, span as well. So I'm going to do user details span to have a margin of zero and to have a display, a display of inline block. I think this should be fine. Let me go. Let me refresh the page. Let me just see if there is something else in here pushing this up. Um, and I think, I think that should be it. Let me just refresh. I think that should be it. So at the moment, if we look in here at the top, we just put our, um, we just put in here our profile picture. We put the section with our name. We put this thing in here, which is going to be our home. When we click on it, it's going to bring us to the home. We put this one in here that will take us to the projects page. And this one that will take us to the contact page. All right, guys, I know that this video took a little bit longer to actually, you know, put inside of all the fonts and uh, all these icons and everything. But really, after this one, it should be just a matter of building this stuff in here that should be quite straightforward. So that's it for this video, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.